All right, y'all, it's AGP here, and it's Monday. So you know it's time for another AGP video. Now, today, you know, y'all thought you were safe from me, CD Projekt Red, but you're not. For y'all y'all who know, I've been covering info on Cyberpunk 2077 as well. I hadn't made this video yet, and this article probably came out last week sometime. And, you know, we knew that the customization for Cyberpunk 2077 was going to be very extensive. Did we know it was going to be this extensive? The answer is hell no. So we what we're doing now is we, we, we're putting customizing genitals in. That's what we're doing. I understand customizing everything from scars to tattoos to hair to skin color to 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 whatever it is that you wear is customizing the way that you play customizing the tools that you may get but genitals really so this is gonna be sims on crack basically that's what this is my last video if y'all saw it i was talking about why australia and brazil had rated it r18 plus now y'all know some of these other countries some countries do ban games Okay, Australia has banned the games. I assume Brazil has banned, banned the games. And you, we really would have thought that they would have banned this one, but they didn't, which is great. Like I said, I'm very happy that we can all play together and have a good time. But the reasons why they were saying that they are not going to ban this one is because apparently for the classification boards, there's a difference between depicting sex and suggesting sex now one of my boys asked me he was like why are we being able to customize the genitals are we going to use them the answer is yes okay you will be using them because there are first person sex scenes in this game but i will be more specific about what those contain so what they said in response to people being like we're customizing our genitals now was that players can select the gender and customize their character customization can include depictions of breasts buttocks and genitalia as well as various sizes and combinations of genitals players can encounter events where they have the option to engage in sexual activities with other main characters or prostitutes Mox gang. These brief sex scenes from a first person perspective depict partially nude characters moaning suggestively while moving through various positions. So yeah, you, you, you'll be using them. I don't know who came up with this idea, but it's obviously very much hilarious. They also went on to say that some scenes contain, again, for this is why they rated it what they did. They said some scenes contain brief depictions of thrusting motions. Other scenes depict the character's head moving towards a partner's crotch. Hello. The game contains frequent depictions and references to fictional drugs, including characters taking puffs slash hits from a state-altering inhaler or stimulant. An animated billboard ad depicts a man snorting speed. Some sequences allow the player to drink alcohol beverages repeatedly until the screen distorts, which is a given because if we can have sex, you definitely should be able to get drunk in it. But again, don't drink unless... You're 21. <clears throat> Players' characters can also drive cars while drunk. The words, well, we're not going to say it, but the words f and appear in the dialogue. Well, I'm going to say it, but I, I bleeped it out. Yeah, so if y'all were wondering why this game was going to be rated the way it is, then here's your answer. You know, aside from all the other drugs and things. And in my last video, I told you the whole list of what's going to be in it. And that is why this rating is so next level. But it will be a great game. Now, I will warn y'all, there's another scene that they said during one quest, players assist the character by hammering nails through his hands and feet. Screaming sounds and blood effects accompany the scene. So, yeah. So, you know, rated M or R18 plus makes total sense. But yeah, y'all, so the last thing I just want to say to CD Projekt Red is y'all some freaks. Y'all freaky. And everybody that plays this, all your favorite YouTubers, whoever is watching this, we all getting demonetized playing this on YouTube. But you know what? It'll all be worth it. YouTube literally going to be like this with the demonetization strikes. Everybody wants something tonight, huh? Everybody. But what up? But that's all I really wanted to come on and say to y'all today that CD Projekt Red is wildin', but the Cyberpunk 2077 game will be great. It might win game of the year, very much has a chance to. It has some competition for sure, but you know, I think there's going to be a lot of fun going on in Cyberpunk 2077, and my next video will be more about all the different customizations you can do because I was looking at this article and I just want to break that one down. So, I'm going to catch y'all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all later, all right? Peace. Peace.